Yung editor niya. Special case for this type of video is the wallet port. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about population growth problems still in the um, discussion on the applications of first order differential equations. Okay, so let's first have the equation, the differential equation for population growth problems. So it is the same with the uh, decay problem. It's the same. So, but we will just uh, have our, uh, maybe just say, say let, Okay. Let P will be the, the number of population. Okay. Given um, at any time. Okay. So our differential equation will be DP dt is equal to kp of course our uh, db dt uh, dp dt is the rate of change of the population and our k is the constant of proportionality okay so we have not we have this one established so again this is our differential equation okay so this is just a basic variable separable so if we are going to we are going to get the general solution of this one okay so we have okay so let's just use orange here so dp dt is equal to kp we are going to um, get the general solution by variable separable so let's just uh, multiply both sides by dt over p so we'll end up with dp over p k dt integrating both sides so we'll end up with ln p is equal to kt plus c okay so this is now our general solution or the equation of the general solution so the population growth problems will solve the uh, the question of for example how much um, uh, what is the increase of a population after 10 years for example here so at a certain time we say Time zero, the population is 100. Then at time three, three seconds. Okay, so we just here try three seconds. Ah, no, three years. We just have three years. So three years. The population is 1,000. So at what time will the population be 1,500? So that is how we will add, that is the problem which involves this type of differential equation, the population growth problems. Of course, talking about population, we're not be talking only the population of humans, but also the bacterial growth, the, uh, the algal growth. So its application ranges from um, from a simple uh, uh, population counting up to um, uh, biology and medicine okay so that will be the discussion for the population growth problems in the next few videos we'll try to solve problems involving um, we will try to solve population growth problems so 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and as always, enjoy learning.